What? Speaker volume is too low. <laughs> I can hear you just fine. All right. Sometimes good. sometimes Skype likes to be like that. Or some of my <laughs> videos all telechoppy. That's all right. It's Skype. Hey, right, just, how, how are, you? are you doing? Fucking great. <laughs> Better now that you're here. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Yeah. So uh, Drew, of course, told me I was doing this about 20 minutes ago. So okay, I have I right. have no fucking show notes. So that, that's we're okay. working on scripted. I didn't even have time to put on like a, a shirt with sleeves. So I think you look great. Yeah, we're just oh. we're just going. We're raw dogging this. <laughs> oh, that's that's that that's hilarious. <laughs> that that feels yeah yeah yeah. yeah I, was, I, I, I talked to him. Yeah, I talked to him yesterday. I was like. And yeah. I was just like, I was just like, like kind of joking, like, "Hey, man, if you if you need any, <laughs> if you need any content for the podcast, I can bitch about this this like because we both bought the same espresso machine. I was like, I can bitch about this thing for like an hour. Oh, and then okay. last night he was like, <laughs> okay, <All> yeah. right. <laughs> I might turn my and, menu off because it's making Skype piss. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> just it's just me. Your, I don't know. Your camera's too good. Yeah, that's probably it. That's it's probably too it. Fancy. Hey, I should probably say yeah. something to all the listeners who are all confused. Uh. <laughs> Drew is Drew is not with us today. Uh, t- again, he died. He died. Uh, I, ho- I hope not. Uh, <laughs> we have a returning, or really our only return guest ever, uh, Mr. Mr. Eric Darling. How are hopefully you doing? I haven't, ho- I'm very good. I, hopefully I haven't worn out that doormat. No, no, you're, you are always welcome. <laughs> uh, I should okay. probably hit record on Audacity, right? I, I, Just in I, case. I, I got, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got you it. You sure? It's, all right. It's fine. Okay, it's I'll, fine. I'll, all right. I'll skip it then. It's fine. It's fine. All right. I got, I got, I'm, rec- I'm recording off of Skype. We're good. We're all right. Good. All right. Well, I'm glad. I just, no, don't want to stress out my Mac anymore if no, I don't have okay. to. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's de- okay. They're delicate machines. So are, okay. Are you still using the Mac? <laughs> yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a choice. Okay, you don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Those are strong words. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, okay, I mean, here, here's the thing, man. Uh, when I had an Android and a Windows computer, which mm-hmm. I know are two decisions you strongly disagree, you strongly disagree with. Not, you know, I, I get why. Uh, my main, like, thing on that was, like, I, I could pair – my android phone with windows and okay. like due to the magic of a fucking browser tab i could text <laughs> from my computer oh, okay. and when i got okay. an iphone and okay. that got taken away mm-hmm. not being able to like text from a thing on my screen okay. well like because like you know i'm like i'm like you know i'm on client calls and shit and i can't be like picking up my phone and being like hang on a second but like you know <laughs> i can like i can like side eye the monitor over here and respond to my wife and whatever okay and, like, if like but you know like in, unless i get out of iphone i can't get out of I can't get out of that. I can't get out of the Apple ecosystem. I am buried deep. Tim Cook's got you. He's got yeah. you trapped. Yeah. Short and curly <laughs> grasp, man. They're iron fisted. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. Mac, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm using a Mac forever now. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I mean, it's, <laughs> we're, we're happy to have you. <laughs> It, it could be worse. Like everything's everything's fine, you know. Okay. I, I I use a my, my Windows laptop I via RDP into my Windows okay. laptop and do my SQL Server stuff there, and I'm, okay. I'm you know everything's cool. Everything's cool. Like I, I don't I don't mind the Mac, yeah. but it is like it is like just like a, it's, it is like a shell for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. There's no like dedicated stuff on here. If if this Mac died, I could replace it with any other Mac. Okay, as yeah. long as it's an Intel chip and I, so I can use VMs. <laughs> Okay, I was, I was gonna say you're still probably you're still using an Intel Mac, so you can run all your all your fancy virtual machines on your on your yeah. Mac. Yeah, like I did toy with the idea of getting a Windows machine and then setting up uh, an Apple VM to just text. From. <laughs> so I was like, like I had this I had this like light bulb moment. Was like, but I could go back to Windows and I could get a, a, a Mac OS VM. And I could sign in and I could just have it like big enough to have iMessage up in like my corner, and then I'd be okay. But then I got lazy, so that didn't happen. Yeah, but like, okay, and I, and I say this as somebody yeah. who has like basically made a career both developing for yep. and now running applications on the Microsoft yeah. stack. Yeah, Windows awful. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I don't enjoy Windows. Yeah, like there's there's nothing there's nothing like enjoyable about Windows for me. It's like it's like the same thing as any OS. Like you you put like 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 the most beautiful like Ubuntu port of anything like you put like mint in front of me i don't give a shit what it is like it's just it just as long as it does what i need it to do i don't okay. care like, okay. well, I'm not, i don't i don't need a lot of form or function <laughs> i need like like I need like three different things to work and i'm like, 
I'm oh. a very very low maintenance computer user. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's it, cool, must, man. it must be nice because I'm very very opinionated. But you know, I that's, know. Very, that's... very picky. You're very opinionated. I you am. Get, I am. That's, I am. Um, but like, I, I think if if <laughs> so, here's the thing. I think if you walked into my office and you saw the way I use a Mac, you would you might hate Macs. <laughs> like you <laughs> might be like, "Fuck this." Like, okay. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, do, do you uh, do you want to like? What, what what would make me the most mad? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know if it would be the three monitors. Okay. I don't know if it would be the fact that like my laptop is in like a vertical stand behind the monitors. Okay. Right. I don't know if it would be the cable management. I don't know if it would oh. be the fact that I have like a, a dedicated Spotify monitor. Like like I don't know. Like there's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, just I'm I not. You, a- I'm not well, a multiple monitor person. I think I everyone knows that. I'm, I'm a yeah. one. I'm a one good monitor kind of guy. I am also rocking the clamshell Mac as in a vertical stand behind my yeah. monitor lifestyle. So, uh, okay. and, and my cable management right now is also very poor. Uh, <laughs> so. like mine is poor. <laughs> oh, my mine, mine would destroy. And like anyone with like even the mildest OCD would just vomit. <laughs> just yeah, I things are not good right now on my desk yeah. uh but it's okay the things and, are good on my desk and even like I'll, I'll be like honest like right now so i'm on camera a lot in my office yeah and, and really the only part of my office that is presentable is the field yeah. of view from my webcam yeah. <laughs> like yeah. the floor around me is currently covered with just <laughs> shit <laughs> Flotsam and Jetsam, Detritus, and you get yeah, name it. It's just I've got I've got I've got more cables over here. I've got my laptop bag just thrown around. Yeah. I've got boxes. I'm trying to get stuff into the basement, so I've got boxes <laughs> of shit. Uh yeah. How, how much has your record collection impinged on like your, your office space? Or is that a different room in the house? No, uh, uh hold on. I'll, I'll briefly turn on my camera here okay. and see if Skype likes it. So my all record right. collection is right behind me. Okay, all right. It's it's, it's about a hundred plus. Oh, those aren't just skinny books. All right. Yeah, not just those aren't just skinny books. Uh that's that's my record collection. It's about it's about a hundred hundred right now. Though uh it is some it's summer. And uh, that means my family is home, oh. which means I have not put a record on my record player for weeks because they don't like my e- evil devil music. So, uh, yeah, but can't you just tell them to like shut the fuck up? Dad's busy. <laughs> no, that's that's no. trying to concentrate. No, that's not how that works. No, that's not how uh, that works. So if I can if I can give you a piece of advice, uh-huh. uh, it's get your own apartment, <laughs> <laughs> and you can do whatever you want. That's, that's you can listen to you can listen to Aerosmith as loud as you want. Paul. Okay, well, I, I, not that that's not that's that's not at all. No, but not I, that kind of devil music. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. So, uh, in a couple of weeks, my family is going on vacation, and I am not. So, I'm going to play all of my evil, loud, fast, angry music. So, as loud so, as I want. so you are going on vacation. Oh, y- yes, I, 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 yes, I have, I have taken, are. I have taken the week off work, <laughs> and I am staying home. <laughs> How did you finagle that? Where are they going? Are they going to visit like other family no, or th- they, wow. they like the beach. Okay. I don't like the beach. No, you can't play devil music. At the no, beach. no. And, uh, I have gone to them on the beach before and I can do mm. the beach for like an hour. Then I yeah. want to go be in the hotel or yeah. whatever, wherever they're staying. Yeah. And they could stay on the beach forever, and that's fine. I like hotel. Hotel's fine. I can read. I can do what I can play video games. I can do whatever I want. Hotel's but nice. but that but then they feel obligated to entertain me, even though they don't need to. So we have learned that they go to the beach and I don't, and everybody's much happier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they gave me enough warning last. They did it, they did it two years ago, I think, mm-hmm. but. Uh, by the time they decided what week they were going to the beach, uh, my calendar was already full of work shit. Uh, uh-huh. But this year they they did it in plenty of time. I'm like, I'm taking that week off and I'm going to eat poorly and watch TV <laughs> and play video games. <laughs> and you Smart. can't stop me. So, yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, I still get roped into family vacations, okay. but yeah. that's, you know, um, yeah. that's, that's my own fault. Yeah. All, I, I also like, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't hate the beach as much as I think you hate the beach. Mm-hmm. Um, we we don't do a lot of like beach specific stuff. There's like 
it's like beach adjacent, mm-hmm. but it's like mostly like hotel pool. Okay. So okay. like, you know, I get to hang up by the hotel pool and order hotel pool drinks and like, mm-hmm. you know, occasionally yeah. go in and get splashed with like, you know, gross you know, hotel pool water. Hit, yeah. Hit yeah. Piss water, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, get out and dry off and order another drink and, you know, con- yeah. You know, yeah. stare, at my, stare, stare at my phone for a while. Well, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Like I'd be fine just hanging in the hotel and doing like the, Hey, just, just come get me when it's time to go to dinner. <laughs> yeah. That kind of, kind of vacation, but it's okay. Right. I'm just going to, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to relax. But is it about the beach that, that is it like just boredom or like, do you not like the sun, the sand, the noises, like the seagulls? What? I don't know uh, if you know this, but uh, you can't breathe in the ocean. That's true. And uh, that, that gives me anxiety. Okay. Or or fear fear I don't yeah. like water I'm I am yeah. afraid of water that goes over my head okay uh, uh, you know I'm you also, have to like go out a bit before I know it's... I know but still I know that the ocean to... goes over my head if I can if <laughs> yeah yeah no I'm not a I'm not a water okay. I don't I don't like water at all and uh, to me the the beach is just where wet meets dirt. <laughs> <laughs> So mm. yeah, was that? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, see, no, seaweed is is especially unpleasant. Yes, it's, it's gross. Uh, it's gross. What what always freaks me out is when I see those like you know like random like 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 I don't know like I guess like if it, if there were if it were a Twitter account it would be like fuck nature, <laughs> the Twitter account, and like someone will just be like walking along a beach with like a dead fish, oh. and then all of a sudden like it like it'll, it'll just like it'll like get a jerk. And they'll pull it up, and there'll be like some like four foot fucking like like prehistoric worm hanging off it. Oh. And I'm like, I'm like, you know what? I, I don't want to walk on the beach either. Like, <laughs> not for me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm saying, I'm, uh, hotel pool that doesn't happen. Yeah. Like worst comes to worst, you're somewhere kind of tropical, and like a cute lizard will run like skitter by you, yeah. and like, okay. like 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 look at you and then run away. That I can deal with. Be like nature, beach. That's not. No, no. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not my thing. But staying at home is my thing. So that's yeah. That's what I'm gonna you know, do. I'm, I, I'm happy for you that you get to do that. Listen to all hundred of your records back to back. Your neighbors are gonna be psyched. Oh, dude! I, <sighs> get a new subwoofer, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm good. I've got I've got I've got a nice subwoofer in my office already. <laughs> oh, so there is a very nice older couple. Uh, who live right beside me and they're fine. They're perfectly, yeah. they're, they're very nice neighbors, yeah. uh, but they, they are, they are older and very religious. And yep. uh, I'm pretty sure they think that I am literal Satan because uh, mm. the, 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 she, she likes to sunbathe. Uh, and sometimes <laughs> I like to have my windows open and yeah. uh, <laughs> sometimes that doesn't always uh, mesh. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Because um, she'd be she'd be sunbathing right outside my office. My my well, office faces their house. Yeah, I mean, uh, you just need to find that perfect like subwoofer frequency that disrupts pacemakers, <laughs> and you're set. Yeah, like, there you go. Hit, hit that like <laughs> like like the Real death low. note. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm sure you'll get it done. That's so right. I actually, I, 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 so I, I, I listen to your podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, I listen to you and Drew. Okay. Not religiously, well, okay. but I, I, I like, I'll, you know, I think like three or four weeks will go by and I'll be like, you know, I, I, I haven't listened in a while. And then like, I'll like binge and catch up okay. on stuff. And, um, uh, there, I think there was one episode recently where you were talking about uh, a medication you're taking, making drinking no bueno for yes. you anymore. Yes. And I was curious, like, like, I, like, I know you like weren't like a huge drinker before anyway, but just like mm-hmm. here, it's like, how is that going for you? Uh, I haven't had a drink for uh, months, months now, months. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a very long time. Yes. <laughs> yes. I have not had. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, yeah. I, yeah. I had I had, I had to let it go. I had to let it go. Like you're not. Oh, yeah. you're, do, you, do you miss it at all, or is it just like? No, no, no. You know what? There are there are occasions where I do miss it. Yeah. Uh, like you know, I went to that that music festival not that long yeah, ago yeah. And, and hanging out with some of my friends, and yeah. they're like, "We're gonna go get a beer. You want anything?" Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're like, "Yeah." But- <laughs> Like I like I don't know like I I think I'm 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 cowardly to the point where I would have gotten a beer and then just like held it to just like fit in <laughs> <laughs> like yeah thanks yeah. man 
brewskis, yeah. bro. <laughs> so that 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 was a little tough, but yeah, it's it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. I'm getting it's you know, I'm saving money. Yeah, kind of. No, I'm like, yeah. I'm totally, other, things, other things are more important. Yes, but yes, like exactly. you know, yes. uh, like like drinking. I don't know. Just drinking. Just like a natural social cue for me that. Like if I were on medication where I couldn't do it anymore, I would I would be like a fumbly mess. I'd be like, I, yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> Hands. Yeah. Where do we go? <laughs> like, yeah, and like you, you do like work events or social events where literally everybody else is drinking, and you're like yeah. one of like four people that aren't, and you're yeah. very and you feel very aware of that fact. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah. that that's that's why like I like I said I'm cowardly. I would have the decoy. Mm. Like, like and I like I would just like I would just nurse that and be like, oh yeah, no, I got one. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, to get pretty tipsy over here i don't know about you i you have to leave soon i i have thought about like trying some like non-alcoholic beers and, don't, and, and see, don't don't okay no <laughs> you, you i would i would i would have more respect for you if you bought like a budweiser and put it in a cup and just didn't drink it and just <laughs> got it, it got it just like, let it get warm dump it out pour a cold one in so it feels nice and just move don't, on don't no, it alcohol, it was the dumbest grossest thing in the world okay it's like it's like decaf coffee it's like okay. pointless it is absolutely pointless uh, so, so okay so speaking of coffee since you brought it up yeah you also have Drew's. Yes, it's the, what, the, ter- the Terra Cafe TK Terra two? Cafe TK yeah. two. Is that the one? Yeah, yeah. the O two okay. model. Yeah, the, the, o- the newest model. The, yeah. Okay, all right. And so Drew seems to generally like his. Yes. Yeah. And you have some. You have some complaints. I got some fucking problems, man. Oh, okay, got some big problems. So, I, I, I for, before before I talk to you about this thing, I, I feel like I need to like you're 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 officially like my psychiatrist, and I okay. have to give you I have to give you my espresso machine history. Okay, okay, because I know that you are an espresso machine snob. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm generally a cough, coffee. I was a coffee, coffee snob. snob. Coffee Sorry, snob. Coffee yes, snob. Yes, yes, yes. But the but like. The, the the devices you use to make coffee and the beans and like yes, yeah. like the special grinders and all the filters yeah. and all the other yeah, stuff I, you you are I, like I like like, yeah. like 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 the operating system you are very particular and have opinions about these things I do, so I do. Um, so I started off with a Breville barista something okay and it was too much fucking work it was oh, too much okay. maintenance upkeep there was like every, like every other day it was like descale me like <laughs> I had to like grind and pound my own fucking it was like there, there, it, there, it, there was like an incantation you had to do to even get espresso to actually like come out in some form that was drinkable hmm. from this thing so like I, I i i had problems with that it was just too much for me because i'm not, I, I i don't have the wherewithal to like figure that out and then like if you buy a different kind of bean you start over again oh 100 100 percent you buy like yeah. even if it's like 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 it, like these beans look exactly the same, but then like you the mach- you get them in the machine and it's just like a whole different story. Yeah. It's like yeah. str- it's like strangers. I've I've, so I've, like, I've had multiple people ask me like, "Hey, I'm looking to buy an espresso espresso machine. What should I get?" And yeah. I'm like, "Okay, well, first of all, realize you're not getting an espresso machine. Uh, you're committing to a hobby. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it, no, it is. Totally. It's not straightforward. Yeah, you always have to." Yeah, they're fiddly. They're fiddly right. machines. Yeah. Right. So I, I wanted an espresso machine. I wanted an espresso machine that was not like that. And um, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he's a friend of the show, but he, he's definitely, he's, you know, I, a friend of me and Drew. Uh, this guy Brent. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and my wife and kids went to visit him when he had a, a, a thing in a, some kind of home thing in, in in Cabo, Mexico, and he had this espresso machine. It was like a Phillips thirty two hundred or something, and it was like you put beans in the top and water in the tank, and then you hit espresso, and oh, you would get okay. so that I, I got one of those, and I had that for a while. But there were things about that that annoyed me to no end. Like it, like you would turn like you would turn it on. And if like it was like some if something was deficient in the machine, like it it just would stop turning on. And I don't I don't know if I mean you're probably not like me in the morning, but like like in, I'm in the morning, I drag myself into the kitchen, I want to push the espresso button, and if for some reason espresso can't get made, I want like alarms and warnings, <laughs> I want, like something to tell danger, me danger, danger, yeah, no like, espresso, like, yeah. Hey, 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 you got to f- attention now. That machine had none of that. And even worse was like the, the, like where you put the beans in the top did not like, it did not naturally suit like beans, like shuttling towards the grinder. Oh, 
Yeah. So like I, okay. I had to like stick my hand in or like tap it so that the beans would get there. Cause every once in a while you like, you would be like grind. It would be like that d- deep grind noise where like it's working on beans and it's like, yeah. but then you would hear that high pitched. I've got nothing to do grind where it's like me. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, this, this espresso is going to suck. I, hang on. Yeah. And like, and, and beans are just, you know, slightly oily. So if that hopper is not designed just right, yeah. yes. Gravity won't, can't do its job. And, Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it did not. It did not fail loudly enough for me. Got so. Uh, okay. uh, so that those are my first two espresso machines. I had like other dumb things before that. We don't need to talk about those. It's gone on long enough. So uh, I, I I got in real early on the kick funder whatever the shit this thing was, uh, and I was psyched about it. And then like after a year and a half of waiting and like emails about supply chains and China, this thing finally <laughs> shows up. And I'm psyched because it's 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 a real nice looking machine. Like I get a black one. Uh, Drew got a white one. I don't I don't understand why. And what would possess anyone to buy a white coffee machine? Uh, my, esp- my espresso machine is white. So <laughs> you are dumping hot brown liquid out of this thing. Why would you want it to be? Oh uh, yeah, that? it was that. It was a mistake. It looks real nice when it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> when it's clean, that's yeah. cool. uh-huh. that's big asterisk there, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I got I got this thing, and like I, w- I was psyched about it because like y- you know like when you have an espresso machine, you get used to certain things. Like if it complains that the the puck thing is full, that's like your signal to fix everything. So like you dump out the the bucket, and then like you dump out the water tray, and then you like refill the water. But what what bugs me about this one is that the only thing I think that is like has an electronics I, I don't even know if it, this one has it but that has like an electronic sensor is the water thing okay because I, I feel like the like i will empty out the the puck just bucket the puck mm-hmm. bucket let's call yeah, it because that's yeah. a nice name thing that'd be that would be a great name for a sports bar puck bucket. <laughs> Everyone would be like like retire from computers and just like open up a, like in a, like a sports bar in ohio and be like that sober bartender who like has wisdom yeah. and shit. Call yeah. it the puck bucket. Puck bucket. Dude, I like it. Yeah. Billionaire. I mean, n- not a billion. You'd probably like, you know, be able to coast a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Might get paid. But uh, yeah, so like, you, like, I, like I'll empty that out. And then like two espressos later, it'll be like puck buckets full. And I'm like, no, it's not. I just did it. So like, I think certain things in it are just like counters. Uh... So like, it, but, and the, okay. like, and this is, bugs me consistently about every espresso machine that i get is there is absolutely no warning when the beans get low so like okay. like the, the bean like you like i pour a b- bag of beans like in the thing it's mm-hmm. a bag of beans in there but nothing ever says hey beans are getting low so every once in a while i'll like go to make an espresso and like the, like i'll hear that high-pitched ee, i've got nothing to do noise and I'm like, like I'm running to the espresso machine. Like, why didn't you just tell me you were out of beans? And like, and like the weird part is that like this, like the thing that I have, it, like it, it, like it connects to Wi-Fi. There's an app for this thing. I can turn it on and off from my phone. I can make coffee remotely. Like I can do all sorts of shit with this phone. And I just don't understand like why there's nothing built into this thing where like if the grinder starts grinding and there are no beans to grind why it doesn't just stop and say hey i'm out of beans like it, it'll tell me it'll tell me when water is low it'll tell me when the drip tray which is uh, which is fucking disgusting by the way <laughs> yeah those are the grossest things on earth that, like i think like drip trays and like the napkins that at the dentist office like whatever <laughs> hashtag those go in are the two grossest places on earth yeah but, like, drip trays can get like, pretty nasty yeah, blows yeah. my mind it, there is no way for this thing to say hey put some more beans in so you know, it, hey. It's smart, but not in the ways you want it to be smart. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's smart in a lot of ways that like make life easy, but it's, then it's like, like, how do you miss that? Right, right. Like, you engineered the shit out of so many things in this machine, but like, just not that. Like, like, why is that? <laughs> like, why can no one get a handle on this? Like, I don't know. Like, have like a little like weight sensor in there and like, you know, note that when the weight gets below a certain amount, there are no beans in it. <laughs> Or like we're getting low on beans, and like maybe it's time for more beans, like because there's there's a there's like a there's like a display on it where you like push to like make stuff, and if the drip if if it thinks the drip tray needs to be emptied out, it'll say drip tray cleaning reminder, or 
If the waste bin is full, it'll say waste bin full. Or if the water is getting low, it'll say water low. But just nothing for the beans. Hmm. Nothing for the beans, Paul. Nothing for the beans. Nothing for the beans. The beans. I think I think that's our title. Uh, <laughs> so okay, but outside of that, when it's full of beans and the drip tray is is dry and you got water the drip in it, efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> surgically clean. How, how do you find it for the actual making of espresso? Oh, it's good. Okay. Yeah. No. Again, like I, I don't, I don't have. I, I don't think that I have the espresso standards that you might have. I it, it is very much a caffeine delivery system for Got me. It. Got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I like. I, I have been out in the world, and I know when I have had like excellent espresso, and it comes in the little cup, and there's like you know like a lemon peel in there, and Ooh, like there's like fancy. like a. Like there's maybe a couple like like re- like not like perfect cubes of brown sugar, but like the rough edged ones, oh, like yeah. consistent sizes, and like there's a little cookie on the side, and I'm like, you know what? I'm, I know what I'm getting a good espresso, and this espresso was really good. The stuff that comes out of there is tastes nice to me, okay. like it, it tastes good to me, and it delivers the caffeine, and I can get on with my day and like you know, it's like like you know, uh, I guess salvage some sense of humanity from it but you know so it's it's it's, it makes a good enough thing so i'm I'm happy with it in that way just the beans warn me about the beans so do you just drink straight espresso no i don't i don't don't know okay Okay, i don't i don't think that i could i don't i don't know what i would like what would you put in espresso Oh, well, I mean, look look at Starbucks. They they made a they made a very good run of putting a bunch of shit into espresso drinks. Uh, yeah, like you know, obviously milk. You know, milk, steamed milk. Make yourself a nice latte. Well, but then then you're getting away from having an espresso okay. in the morning. You're, okay, you're having a latte or a cappuccino or a, yeah. what's yeah. The one flat? There's like flat whites, cappuccinos. Yeah, yeah. There's you're one like, other like fancy name one. It's like an upside down cappuccino or something. <laughs> the frappuccino. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. We don't we don't say those words in this house. I'm I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. No, I, I am going to ask you yeah. ab- about your beans. Okay, hit me what, with it. What what kind of beans do you put into your esp- fancy espresso machine? Great question. I, I actually sent Drew. So like, I I there's a there's a a, a very nice coffee shop around the corner from me. Mm, okay. And uh, it's not a chain; it's like a single location. Yeah. So I don't want to say the name of it because like one of one of you, one of your rabid fans might don't, track me. Down. Don't be creepy. Yeah. yeah okay. Exactly. I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> but uh, th- like, like me and my wife there. Cause my my wife loves cappuccinos, and like you know, okay. just to make life easy, when she gets a cappuccino, I'll get a cappuccino. Just be like, yeah, make it the same one. Whatever. Yeah. And I, and I found the cappuccinos from there very nice. And they use a uh, type of uh, beans from a company, which I guess is in, actually in New York, called Sweet Leaf, which is a, oh. probably a Black Sabbath reference. So you might, yeah. you I, might I've, I've actually heard, I've heard, I think I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they have uh, a, a, a type of bean called Easy Rider, which is what I normally get. They also have a type of bean called Slap Shop that I like, but I, it's not my my normal thing. But so I get I get from them, and that's the that's the bean that I use. And I, I've been ordering like two, like I get two bags every two weeks, like auto refill. And uh, at one point, like we were away or something and I got like extras and I sent Drew a bag of beans. And then I was like, hey, Drew, did you like the beans? And it was just like crickets. So I don't know what the fuck Drew's problem was with the beans, but I like the beans. Okay. Yeah. I can send you a bag of beans if you want. That, 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 uh, if you would like a bag of beans, uh, I am, I am good. Easy, okay. Easy Rider is claimed to be a dark roast. And no, I'll pass. I'll pass. I understand. <laughs> I'm I'm a a blondie. Uh, huh? Blondie, blonde roast man. I, I like very. I, so the 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 world of specialty. Especially, I'm in the world of specialty coffee. You see, see oh, okay. I'm a, a highfalutin specialty and coffee. Most uh, of that stuff is like it's very light roast with okay. like instead of like. You know, you, your typical dark notes will have like flavored t- notes of like nuts or chocolate yeah. or cocoa. coffee. Uh, yeah, because the coffee smells like coffee. Yeah, that's yeah. not what I meant to say. Yeah, like like leather and <laughs> yeah, light light roasts have cacao taste of notes of like like stone fruit or mm-hmm. cherries or like yeah. sour or citrus. Okay, so they'll be a little more acidic. Really, is what it comes out. <clears> yeah, to. they're more acidic. Uh, yeah, but, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the dark roasts will also throw cherry in there, but yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you know, yeah. 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so enthralled with that. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I do so, use a slightly darker roast for my espresso, kind of more of like a, on the low end of, of medium. Yeah. Because you want, you want a little more, if you use a super really light roast, like I do for my filter coffee, you get kind of like a weak bodied espresso. You need that a little something to have a little bit of texture. You need something to, you need something to give that, give that creme its boost. Exactly. Yeah. You need, you need it needs to be a little bit more full body, but uh, yeah. 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 So that's, that's what I go for. So if, if, if I mean, if you wanted a bag to make espresso with, I, I would okay. happily, okay. happily give you one, but I, I don't want to push it because yeah. it seems like, Seems like you probably have enough bags of coffee. I I, I, I also subscribe to coffee things, and then <laughs> of and, course you and, and I I just ordered <laughs> I ordered uh you know I, I I'm a big fan of Trade. I, I get my coffee from Trade, yeah. and I also just bought. It's this may be the most expensive coffee I've ever bought. No shit. Uh, hold on. Uh, what did I? Where, where and where did I? Buy? I know I bought it via text message. I just don't know how. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hold on. No, we're. Yeah, I, I have a couple of things where like they go like, "Hey, we've got like a hundred bags of this," <laughs> and and you and you just respond with the number of bags you want, and then you charge your credit card. And uh, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Man, uh, I, I wish I wish like I wish my my local like wine stores would have that kind of deal with me. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I can't remember it. It was it's like not a very big bag, and it was like thirty two dollars plus shipping. Yeah, like when we're talking about not not a very big bag, are we talking like a fist or are we talking like two fists? Probably like, like 150 grams, so probably like a fist and a I'm half. Not a drug de- I'm not a drug dealer. <laughs> I don't like know what ha- 150 like half, grams like, like. So about half of a normal bag. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, so <laughs> half, mm-hmm. half a bag of coffee. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, yes. so like 42 bags of cocaine. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and and how how has that been treating you? Are you, are you happy I, I, with it? I, I don't have it. I don't have it yet. You don't have it yet. It's it's currently being oh. roasted and being sent to me. It's uh, being smuggled, Paul. So that 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 bag of coffee is in taped to someone's breast on an airplane right now. Oh, I hope not. I mean, <laughs> most of the most this doesn't I, sound like fair trade coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I buy this? It must I think it was it must it must have been from fellow. Hold on, I gotta I gotta find the text message. Okay. Paul, I'm just gonna say if, if if you if this involved like Bitcoin and like like a like a, a tour tour client or something, <laughs> we don't have to keep about it. We can, no, we can no. just cut. This. We can oh, cut. cut. Oh, okay, hold on. Here, I, well, I found the email. Okay, <laughs> no, it's, tw- it's it's wait, it's 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 bigger than I thought. It's 12 ounces of coffee. Okay. Okay. I got I got I got I got a link. I'll, 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 I'll quotes for the rest of this one. I'm gonna I'll send you I send you I'll put a link in the, on the in the Skype. Just so you yeah, because we don't have show notes. We don't have show notes. <laughs> show uh, notes. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, chat. Mm-hmm. Hey. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. Yes. I'm. Uh, Monica lychee macerated. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. I'm gonna yes. zoom in on this. Let's see. <laughs> Rose water tropical punch. Variety is Castillo medium light roast level. With what does what does process honey mean? So. Uh, okay, so that refers to how. Okay, so, uh, coffee beans yeah. are grow in cherries. Yep. Okay. So most of the time, uh, they uh, use water to basically blast the cherries, right? The the, the cherries off, and then they do right. like a little bit of fermentation to get the rest, like all of yep. the fruit off, and then yep. that's where they go. Yep. So a lot of these weird things, uh, basically they, when they're drying the coffee out, the cherry uh-huh. stays on. Uh-huh. So that imparts kind of the, a little bit of flavor of, of the, the cherries. And, uh, right. there's, there's a, a natural process and a honey, but honey process, but it's not really has nothing to do with honey. It's just because of like the flavors that typically imparts. Okay. But yeah, it's like, that's basically the way that they, uh, they they leave they dry the the beans with the uh, cherries on. Uh-huh. And let me make sure that I'm not talking yeah. out of my butt. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I may be confusing honey with natural. Are you are you are you, you GPTing this? Mm-hmm, exactly. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, the honey process is a hybrid that combines elements hybrid. of both techniques to create a new differentiation in flavor. So, yeah, they're wet hauled. Uh... I'm also wet hauled. So, mm -hmm. yeah, cool. Yeah. That. So basically, the, the the cherry stays on longer. And okay. if you don't, if you keep the the roast light, you get some of that flavor notes from the cherry still oh, in, okay. the, in the gotcha. in the bean. So. Cool. So it's so it's like like uh, I guess if there were if there if there were an equivalent in the wine world, it'd be like a, one of those like skin contact wines, where they 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 let the wine hang out yeah. with the, with the grape skins a little bit yes. longer, so get some of the some of that outside outside yes. world flavor in there. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Well, I'm excited yeah. for it. Thirty two yeah. bucks for a twelve. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah. It's yeah. got a kind of cool looking jungle cat on the bag. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So oh, it's exciting. And, yeah. and the, the the Castillo variety. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. what is that does that refer to the to the bean or is that something else yeah the, i think that is the type of yeah the plant that it comes yeah, from the yeah. plant that it comes from mm -hmm. so this isn't this isn't one of those coffees where like they wait for some animal to eat the cherry and shit out the no, beans no no <laughs> they come collect no, the beans no, from the poop and no i i i have not had that i have Me also either. heard that most of the most of the beans out there claiming to be that are not and if you get the actual real stuff it's not very good <laughs> I can't imagine digested coffee beans yielding anything I would want to drink. It sure is trendy, though. Yeah. 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 I, uh, you know, I, 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 my, my concern is who it, wh whom it is trendy, trendy amongst. Because, you know, I feel like that says a lot about whether something is actually good or whether, like, someone just conned someone rich into spending enough money on something that enough other people were like, I got to do that to seem as rich as this person or something. Like it just seems it's, it seems like one of those like real goofy things, <laughs> like one of those real goofy like rich lifestyle things. Or like, like yeah, like a like an endangered fennec fox variety that only exists in this <laughs> zip code in Saudi Arabia shits these beans out, and yeah, you know, like, where it's the only place in the world you can get them, and that's why they that's why they cost five thousand dollars a bean. You know, like, and and, and I, I just want to know like yeah, how that like. Who who thought of this process and goes, well, that thing eats the cherries and then shits yep. out the beans. Yeah. We should drink that. <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I mean, the, like culinarily, I have a lot of questions about stuff like that. Like, like, like who looked at a certain thing and decided they wanted to process it in a certain way in order yeah. to make it food. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't, I can't think of any of like the real interesting ones off the top of my head, of course, because now that like, now, now that, now that I actually have to like, if, like when I'm going to sleep tonight, I'll think of like 40 things and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like, why the fuck would you do that? But well, like, you know, I, like I always think of like hot of, peppers, like, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. No, that, that, that's, that's a thing. It's yeah. designed to hurt you, but pe yeah. people go, Ooh, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and so like you know, imagine the process of like looking at an olive and being like, I bet if I squeeze this shit out of this thing, mm -hmm. I'll get some oil out of it, and then, <laughs> then hold, hang on, hang on, <laughs> stick with me. If I get that oil real hot and put some potato slices in it, uh, it'll be delicious. <laughs> and yeah. like, like, I, mm -hmm. I, like so like there's like the the evolution of a lot of these things. Is is a, is a continuing mystery to me. Like who, like who did it? Who did it occur to to do that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's all it's all weird. So like I got like that like a lot of people talk about like if they had a time machine, they would like I don't know like kill Hitler or like see what Jesus did or I don't know go back to like you know the dawn of time to see what happened. I would just go back and like like spy on people making food for the first time and be like, huh. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Like, like the, the fuck were you thinking, man? <laughs> mm -mm. Just like y yeast, yeast yeah. in general. Yeah. Like, like for cook baking, for brewing. Like, yeah. yeah. How did that happen? Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, like, you know, it's like, how, like, how did you figure out that if you let it hang out in a bucket for a while, it'll get you drunk? <laughs> Exactly. Like, yeah. There's just so much like 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 and like how did that knowledge transfer to like jail where they're like, if I get enough sun made <laughs> raisin boxes and put it in a wet sock near the radiator. <laughs> I can, can make, make toilet wine. Yeah. Like, hmm, great. Oh. Like, uh, scientists out there in the world. Accidental scientists. <laughs> Accidental. Fascinating. Fascinating stuff. Oh.
Yeah. I mean, not, not saying that I wouldn't want to like kill Hitler or see what Jesus did or like go back to the dawn of time to like see what the big bang was all about. Uh, I, I don't know what number to put in for the big bang, but like, you know, like <laughs> I, I would be very curious about just like basic human stuff. Like, you know, like who figured out masturbation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was just like, hey, dude. <laughs> like some caveman just like in the moonlight holding up his like greasy hand just being like hand good i'm gonna guess that was discovered pretty early on yeah yeah <laughs> like how to hunt masturbation like yeah what number one number two yeah well i mean like there's certain stuff you you like learn from animals right like you watch an animal do something you're like oh that animal's got something figured out yeah like like like, like it's, it's weird to think that like at some point like humans were watching like some predatory species of like cat or dog or something. And you're like, Oh, if you get eight of them together in your corner, the thing you can all fight the thing and you have a better ch- ah, mm-hmm. tactics, <laughs> tactics. tactics for getting somewhere. <laughs> it's just like, it's weird to think about that stuff. Like at some point animals, like, like instinctually were smarter and knew how to like kill stuff better. <laughs> Yeah, and, and we were like, "Yeah, well, bullets, motherfucker, <laughs> bullets." There you go. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of bullets, that's, that's why Drew isn't recording tonight. He had to go gussy up one of his 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 bullet shooters. Oh, okay. Did you why couldn't be here, or did he did he did he tell you something else? Like, uh, he, like he my... just sent me a text. This is this this is this is the whole thing. He, okay. he sent me a text yesterday saying he won't be able to make it tomorrow, but Eric has grievances. <laughs> <laughs> As grievances, yeah, fucking story of my life. Man. Yeah, so I said yes, sure. yes. So uh, uh, that is, uh, I, I can't. I want to see him in his full on, like full, Saint. full gun, gun nut uh, outfit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like. I'm, I'm dying to see. It. Like, it's like, I mean, like you know, like I, 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 I enjoy gun stuff mm-hmm. probably more more than most other people drew his friends with like who don't own guns like i live in new york so like you know get, getting a gun is you know a, a lot like buying a house here <laughs> it's like damn <laughs> you have to be like real well connected to do it uh so like i like but i i, I like like he, he sends me pictures of like the, the stuff he buys and all this and like you know like when he goes out to the range and stuff and like you know i think i think it's really cool and like a like a neat hobby and especially like the really yeah. long range stuff that he does there's like yeah. it's like math and science it's involved math. in yeah, it was like to think about, and so like you know, like I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing like Drew blossom into his like like army sniper, <laughs> like finally like become one of the Call of Duty skins that he's played for years. That's that is a great way of thinking about it. Yes, he's Drew is finally coming into his Call of Duty self. He is. Yeah, he's blossoming. Good no, for I'm him. excited. Good yeah, for him. I, like I, I, like I want to like buy him like a whole like modern warfare outfit and just be like, shoot, shoot those guns, buddy. <laughs> Nothing but like that white and gray camo, <laughs> head to toe. <laughs> those frying pans. <laughs> oh, I'm just, get an army surplus gas mask. Yeah, yeah, it's just the whole, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. not that you're wearing, just dangling off your belt just in case. Oh, hot. Yeah, like that, might mm, need this later. That does it. That does it right there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah it's gonna be fun mm-hmm. i don't know like do you have any do, i mean aside from uh, i guess record collecting do you have any hobbies with that level of engagement <sighs> no like, i don't rec- think i do no it's hard to have that level of engagement yeah yeah i know people like like i know like record collecting is sort of a recent thing for you uh-huh. I, I, like i have a couple of friends who have been in the game for like decades yeah. but they like they still don't have like the level of like, precision equipment that this man gets for gun. Uh, yeah, I mean, I did, I, I, I did spend more money on my turntable than I like to admit. Uh, so. but it's not, it's not to that level. It's not to that level. Yeah, yeah. But are, 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 are did, did, was it, was it a good purchase for what you, what oh, you want though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it was, a, it was a good, yeah, it was a good deal, and it's, it's, it's super pretty. Mm. It's also That's white. Important. It's got a big old acrylic acrylic, <laughs> acrylic platter on it. <laughs> a, it. A, a good cartridge. Yeah. Though I, I have been looking at replacement did, cartridges. Did you say though. that it's also white? Uh, no, yes, yes, yes. The, the, the turntable is white. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, see, that, that's fine because mm-hmm. no hot brown liquid comes pouring yeah, out. Exactly. At least I hope. Like, exactly. You, you would have to put one of those, you, you would have to really put one of those records on fast for brown liquid to come out. Yeah. Something would have to go horribly, horribly <laughs> yeah. wrong. <laughs> 
be some combination of bad things. Yeah, yeah, a big yeah. whoa accident. Yeah, but yeah, no, because I mean, like, I don't, I don't, like, I don't have any hobbies where I, you know, with that, like the the level yeah. of like, like, like minor part acquisition to build a bigger thing out of. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like, like, I, like, I, I, at one point, like, I had built, I had like bought enough, com- like, spare, like, not spare, but. I had bought enough individual computer parts to build like my home server thing that I was using for a while. Yeah. That Drew broke. The, I mean, not, not that Drew broke, but <laughs> Drew, Drew's Drew's bright idea broke <laughs> <laughs> at some point. Where like the, the I, don't know, I don't know. Everything went south on that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that sounds about right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like Drew with his cooling parts, where he's just like, oh, I spent forty eight mm-hmm. days like waiting for these tubes to come in, and then to they make just. Some- to make his computer Bloop. wet, yeah, yeah. <laughs> went everywhere. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was it, you know like that. Like that's about like the last thing that I like you know sort of like hobby horsed myself into into building on my own. Uh, what I what I learn every time I build something on my own is that I am not cut out for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like any, like any any like like random basic home stuff like fixing a thing. If it's more complicated than like tightening a thing that was already there i'm like nah someone someone professional has got to look at this i don't i don't want to yes, yes. <laughs> i don't, I don't, I don't want to be responsible for yeah. messing this up i am i am not handy at all like if it's more complicated than ikea furniture uh yeah <laughs> i'm or it involves electricity in any way shape or form uh <laughs> no fuck that fuck that yeah no, I'll, I'll actually like I'll tell you something funny. I I, I know that we're we're, we're kind of getting close to the hour mark, and that's tr- traditionally when uh, you tell people who you are and where mm-hmm. they can find. You. Mm-hmm. But uh, like three okay three weeks ago in my apartment, like uh, my, my my apartment, the, mm-hmm. the okay dar- yes. the Darling Data Headquarters, <laughs> um, uh, the electricity was getting a little weird, and by a little weird I mean that like. You know, like I like I record uh, training videos and stuff in my office, and like I would like I have like a couple hot lights in here to make the green screen work, yeah. and like I would turn stuff on, and the lights would like flicker a little bit, mm-hmm. and then like the the ceiling light in my bedroom, like sometimes that wouldn't turn on, and I would have to like flick it a few times before anything would happen, and then like at some point, like the kitchen lights went fucking weird too. And I finally, like, I, I, I texted my landlord and uh, I was like, hey, the electricity is weird up here, man. Like, like, it's probably nothing major, but like sometimes stuff doesn't turn on. The lights have been flickery. And uh, he like he came by to check it out and uh, he went in the fuse box and he looked at the fuse box. and He's like, everything's fine. And then he's like, do you have a knife? And I was just like, yeah, of course. And I like, handed him a knife. And he started prying like the outer fuse box panel off the wall. Uh huh. And like, so my landlord works for a uh, telecom okay. and uh, he's pretty used to dealing with like scary wires, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yes. And so like, he pries the fuse box off the wall and like barehanded, okay. like Brave. again, okay. my dog. Like, with, with the like, electricity still on. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I think there's going to be like an episode title <laughs> fight between the bean thing. And I'm sure they're raw dogging it, mm-hmm. but like he like raw dog, like sticks his hand into like where all the wire, like be- behind the, like the switches on the fuse box, he pulled that whole thing off. Mm-hmm. And he just starts jiggling the screws where like the two biggest wires oh. are coming in. And he's like, and he's like, Oh, they're loose. And he just like takes his screwdriver, screws him, like screws him back in again, barehanded. Right, just like like tightens the screws in there, and then everything's fine again. And then I'm like, uh, and, I, and like the whole time he's doing this, I'm like, do you want like gloves or something? And he's just like, he's like, no, we're we're in. He, like, he's because he's he's a uh, not like he's not a Polish immigrant. Like he's like first generation. Like okay, Polish here, yeah. but he's just like, no. Nah, in in America, it's only one twenty. In Europe, it's two forty. If it was two forty, I would want gloves. But one twenty is not a big deal. I, I felt <laughs> one twenty. I mean, it's not. It it, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one twenty can't be pleasant. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like it's a like 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 it's over a hundred. <laughs> so like if it were yeah. like forty or fifty or something like that, I'd be like, oh, okay, I can yeah. take a little zap. Yeah. Like I have those like bug zapper tennis racket things, and I can like you know give myself a playful visit when I'm you know but I've had a few drinks and kind of laugh about it. But I uh, was so like one twenty, buddy. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, you're, you're like 65. <laughs> 120 <laughs> might not feel as like might 120 <laughs> might do a little more than it did when you were like 25. But yeah, oh. he just like you know went in, tightened them up. And, I mean, like 
you know, like I didn't feel bad because that was that, that that's not something that I have enough intuition about to be but like oh it's just loose screws in there, yeah. like and like fake. I would but, never. Like, I would yeah. never. That, yeah, I, that that is a big box of no for Paul. Yeah. like I'm not going in there. Yeah, absolutely not. No, it's a big box of no for Eric too. Like 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 my first instinct when like if you if if like 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 let's say like it was an emergency and I was on the phone with someone right and they were giving me instructions they were like okay I need you to take a knife and cut the paint around the fuse box and then pry it off the wall I'd be like we're living in darkness <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is it I'm, yeah. I'm gonna light a fire this is it's yeah. over C- civilization will collapse. <laughs> we're, we're done. We're I don't done need here. electricity that bad. Yeah, yeah like nah. I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll go outside. <laughs> it's fine. I'll start farming. We're, we're, we're... <laughs> the electronic age is through. <sighs> Darlings are going Amish. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, like... and in addition to not being handy, my wife and I are also incapable of doing any home project together <laughs> without just 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 out bickering. Yeah. Without yeah. Just yeah, yeah. 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 No. I mean, you know, a lot. Of, a lot of people will, you know, give the example of like, like, like IKEA being the true test of a relationship. Not only like being in the store and following the arrows and like, mm-hmm. like picking things out, but then getting home with it and like trying to assemble it. That, that's that's that, that being like a good test of a relationship. Yeah. And uh, I got got to tell you, there were there was one point when I thought me and my wife were done because we were <laughs> trying to put, we were trying to put a bed together and like like it started off kind of fun because it was just like new bed all these pieces mm-hmm. let's organize them and put them in things and like you know we were both just like you know kind of like drinking wine and being like ah ha ha those idiots who fight when they start putting together furniture <laughs> and like like by the, by the, like oh. after like four hours of like putting stuff together and then like 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 realizing that we messed up and having to like undo it and like like turn one thing this mm-hmm. way that was the wrong way and like redoing it like at one like she was just like sitting on the floor crying <laughs> and i was just like angrily screwing things <laughs> and i'm just like man i get it <laughs> yeah it's, it's, like some some people wouldn't survive this yeah oh all right so, i think yeah. i think we i think we just made a show yeah you so think that's it? why don't you tell everybody where people can find you oh, on on that internet thing i keep hearing about you know, there, there, there. The, the, my problem is that there are too many ways for people to find me. And... I heard you're a big TikTok star now, so <laughs> yeah, huge. Yeah, I, I get upwards of forty views on a talk. Okay, or, hang a tick. A tick. A a tick I don't know what. The... Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. yeah so my my wife does all that. Um, oh. I make so yeah. So like, uh, I make I make YouTube videos, mm-hmm. and my wife was like, I want to do something like for your business and i was just like okay <laughs> like <laughs> you really you want to learn about databases and she's like no i want to keep shopping and i was like all right well uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't really i don't really have a job for that and you know, <laughs> the only position i had is filled you, you you already got it uh so <laughs> like uh yeah so she decided that she wanted to take my my youtube videos and chop them up into handy little tiktoks um, I think the handle on TikTok is Darling Data. Okay, that sounds right. But I couldn't swear to that. Uh, let's see what else. I am on. I'm still on uh, Twixter. Okay. Uh, it, it, with Eric Darling Data. That's Eric with a K, like the Viking. Uh, I am also. I also have a website, EricDarling.com. I'm also on LinkedIn. Both is Eric Darling and Darling Data. Uh, the only really common thread in all of those is that, is that it is definitely Eric with a K. Um, if you if you use Eric with a C, uh, you might find the love of your life. You might find your soulmate. You might find like someone that you you know just love whatever they do, but it won't be me. Got it. Well, and you are. I, I was going to say thank you for filling in for Drew. No problem. Uh, you, you, sure. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, absolutely. We love having you on the show. We should do. Have we done one with the three of us yet? Yeah. You don't remember when okay. Drew. Okay, that's right. That's limit. right. Yes, the car, the car. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. We both that's had right. to that. Yeah, that was. Yeah, we should, we should, we should do, we should do another one of those uh, yeah. with, with some better audio quality. Again, yes, I remember. I, I blocked it out of my head because the audio was so bad. Uh, <laughs> that, did you actually publish that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I, I skipped that one. <laughs> what's What's in the shows in the show? Uh, <laughs> No, I, I I like doing this because uh, you know, like I said, I, I do listen to your show, and uh, like at random points, I will find myself talking, like interjecting <laughs> the conversation, 
<laughs> and she's like, oh, what the fuck do you need a new NAS for? No. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, Drew. Yeah. Like, you don't oh, you don't sing worth backing up. Dude, I I've, <laughs> I've actually been like investigating building my own NAS. <laughs> Speaking of stupid things to build. <laughs> like for what? What are you gonna back up? I've got I've got stuff on there. I back up my computers. I've got you, movies. I've got audio files. I got you, stuff. You're gonna burn your records? <laughs> <laughs> no, that that, that, would, that would defeat the purpose. I, I, I get. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm just oh. saying, like 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 most people are cloudy enough in their lives where if like they needed to restore something, it would be available through like the the wire gods in the sky. But I, like having that at home is just like uh, yeah i i yeah i like i like my nas i like it yeah but i was thinking about you know like i have i have four eight ter yeah four eight terabyte drives in there with so one of them's redundant so i've got like 24 gigs oh. of storage all right and well, i'm i'm using about great. there's it it's it's the synology hybrid raid so it's oh, synology okay. it's using their built-in stuff <laughs> Uh, which I think is really just RAID 5 on... Uh, yeah, it's just, usually it's RAID 5 plus 1 or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm at like 17 terabytes. And of what? Stuff. What? <laughs> Count for these 17... I'm, I, I want to audit these 17 terabytes. I've got... So I've, I have I have blur, ripped Blu-rays in there. I've got oh. documents in there. Uh, like all my old tax returns and shit. I've got all of the podcast files for uh, every you, episode you, on there. We, we, let's, we don't, let's not talk about tax returns on this podcast. <laughs> uh, Shh. Yeah. <laughs> we, got, we, we can lose those real quick. <laughs> yeah. I've got some, some music on there, movies, mm -hmm. and backups. I use Time Machine, and I've got like yeah. four four backs backing up to that sector. So Okay. I mean, I, I have I have a little drive on my desk that the Time Machine backups go to. Yeah, but I, I that's, like that's having it. it. I, I like having it over there. I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know if it works anymore. <laughs> it might be full. It's been a while. I haven't looked at it in a while. All I know is that the light is the light is a steady on and not blinking. So I assume everything's yeah. Ev everything's fine. No, no yeah. need to check. No need to check. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So uh, yeah, if you uh, need any help with your databases, I'm the guy who doesn't give a shit about backups. <laughs> <laughs> database, database. Yep. You, you, fo you focus on performance, right? Yeah, primarily. Okay, perform. Yeah, all performance. I, 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 no, like in like in re like in real life, I legitimately don't care about backups. Like, okay, yeah, they're they're a thing that happens at night, and <laughs> like they don't, like there's no like execution plan for backups. So I'm just Got like, it. okay, they they happen, right? Cool, yeah, great. Yeah. Trust you. Yeah, See, make sure you have those. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, no. So it, backups are really that like the thing. All backups do is get me annoyed when I look at the internet and just see people repeatedly saying like, you, you don't have a backup unless you've tested restoring it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> backups never fail. Restores fail. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I was like, okay, well, great advice. Well, every, everyone's going to start restoring those backups now. So oh. overwrite, overwrite those production databases with the backups just to make sure. Exactly. So you got you yeah. to gotta test. Yeah. Keep people on their toes. <laughs> What's the fuck? Well, I want to thank you one more time for oh, joining me. My and pleasure. You don't in. need to. You never need to thank me. It is, okay. it is. I am. I am humbled and honored to be part of to be yeah. part of the Doing Their Best family. Yeah, and everyone knows you can go to doingtheirbest.com. You can find all the show links, social links, all that crap. Yeah, and thanks for listening.